Hello and welcome to TKKMobile.com I will be showing you Asus EPC901 with uh, the Tantros Linux system on it so I will have another video coming with a more detailed look on the hardware side on upgradability and uh, and other operating systems like XP and Vista but now let's go through the device uh, with uh, with Linux on it so let's fire it up pressing the start button right now so you can see what the boot up time is we are now on the BIOS screen and uh, going to start the system uh, this uh, EPC 901 uh, is a new breed of EPCs uh, having the Atom processor on it so it's a bit, bit more powerful than the older ones with Celeron processor and uh, of course the best thing on, on the system is that it has a great battery life so as you can see it's booted pretty nicely I would say about 30 seconds so that's good it's a little bit less than uh, than on the EPC 900 and, and uh, 700 but uh, uh, no, more than uh, EPC 7 and uh, 900, but really nice. Uh, and the best thing about the Sandrox Linux, of course, is the easy interface. This is uh, really uh, nice. We have big icons, icons on the internet tab. We have uh, everything uh, from the browser to webmail to internet radios and Wikipedias. On the work tab we have uh, uh, PDF readers, file management, uh, documents, uh, it's installed, uh, it has a star office installed on it, so star suite 8 to be exact, and as, as you can see it's opening fast and nicely, of course uh, all, the, all the parts of the suite are included, so it's pretty capable of doing doing a, a word processing, a PDF reading, and, and so on from the scratch. On the learning part, there are like uh, drawing softwares and uh, g uh, games and uh, science stuff uh, for kids. On the play tab, we have some games. Actually, quite fun games. Uh, I especially like the Penguin Racer, which is really nice if you have kids kids you can you can uh, have a fun time just playing this so it's basically just a really simple interface the penguin is going downhill and, and collecting some fish so good fun and then of course the big screen is uh, great for for this kind of gaming okay enough for that then also on the play tab we have a DVD player actually we could test it immediately I have a external DVD drive here here with me so so let's test test the DVD playback that's also one really nice uh, feature of this uh, computer as the screen is uh, 8.9 inch screen uh, if the screen is 8.9 inches, it's uh, quite uh, enjoy of uh, watching DVDs. So let's wait while the CD drive is uh, okay. And it's already suggesting that we should open a DVD player. Let's do that. Okay, and we have the Tiger movie here. Let's choose English. Oh, there's warnings. Let's see if we can... Next, 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 next. No, oh, ads. I want Tiger. Okay, let's go to the chapter selection. And let's play some. And like you can see, it works nicely. And we can increase the brightness down or up and volume 
Okay. So DVD playback is fine. Let's take the CD drive away. What else we have here? We have a webcam utility, so we can actually record ourselves. Hello, I'm here and I can record it. And let's record some. Hello, hello, hello. And let's stop the recording. Let's close it and let's go to video manager to check the video we just recorded. So should be there. Yep. Let's open it. play that nice hello oh there was uh, some problem uh, there is actually some problems on the some video files but uh, in overall the video performance is really good on this this uh, SM player has some problems also as it doesn't actually fit on the on the uh, desktop so I have to squeeze it a bit. So there's some 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 user interface things uh, fitting everything on the resolution. The resolution is 1024 by 600 so way bigger than than the 700 series but still there are some glitches so let's close that. That away on the setting stamps uh, new thing of course is the Bluetooth. I can as, as the device has a Bluetooth uh, inside we can now use a different kind of Bluetooth devices. I've test, tested connecting my mobile phone. I can I can use it as a modem or uh, browse the uh, pictures I've taken from the uh, phone and so on. So it's working. Uh, in overall, it's quite nice set of uh, features, and of course. Typically, this kind of device, this uh, main feature is uh, web, so so the web is fine. But there is one little thing that uh, that annoys me annoys me a bit, and that's uh, connecting the to the wireless networks. It takes some time, so let's connect this network now. It can take some time, so if I compare this with a uh, with XP on it, it's the, the Linux version is very slow compared to uh, XP on connecting the network itself. Right now, you can see now it's connected, so it, it takes some time to connect. But but after it's connected, it's working working just fine. So so web use, of course, for this device is nice. And now with a multi multi uh, touchpad, we can nicely scroll with two fingers which is of course quite nice and talking about the multi multi uh, touchpad there's not actually any other features on uh, on uh, on the default sets on this uh, Linux version I can't do the same stuff I can do with XP so with XP it has a uh, features like switching uh, from a software window to another and so on but this this doesn't have it so uh, I was pretty disappointed that I couldn't use those uh, special features so basically you can scroll and uh, and that's it not nothing else works we can check the settings tab on uh, on the system and uh, and on the touchpad settings there's only sensi sensitivity setting tabbing setting and scrolling settings so no no settings for the extra features this uh, hardware enables so that was uh, that was not so nice 
Another setback for me on the Linux system is that uh, the battery meter is not showing the the remaining time even in XP it shows it fine so the battery meter is only showing the percentage of the remaining battery uh, but not not the actual time which I find found quite weird I think it sh should should be perfectly capable of showing the showing the remaining time but in this case it's not working so in overall this Linux version is pretty capable of basic stuff uh, and uh, even more advanced stuff. Uh, the problems I had with that was basically uh, Linux based problems that I couldn't use uh, some of my hardware like uh, my printer didn't want to work with it and uh, and uh, seeking uh, some, some uh, settings was kind of hard. I wanted to set up uh, uh, the, s the standby time a little bit uh, longer and so on I couldn't make it so if you are used Windows user you may, may frustrate uh, if you don't uh, find the settings so easily but it's uh, pretty capable of doing stuff and the good part of, of this system is that it's really good for people do who, d who really don't want to want to go that deeply to the system just want to use it and uh, that's what it's meant for one good thing I forget to show is that uh, it ac also supports the new features of this uh, Atom CPU which is the uh, super performance so we can we can uh, overclock the CPU to even to 1.8 gigahertz if you have the older BIOS, if you have the newer BIOS, it's it's going to be like uh, 1.68, or high performance where it's uh, closer to 1.5, or or to power savings where, of course, the reason is to save power, so the battery life will be even longer. I'm getting some five hours with the Linux system, uh, maybe a bit less, four and a half hours, uh, so there might be some power settings that are not as good as uh, as on the XP versions. I typically run this at auto power savings so that means that it, the CPU speed increases if you need it but when you don't need it it goes down to save the battery. In overall the, the responsiveness uh, and, uh, and so on is quite okay on this system. I don't know if it can fully use the uh, Atom uh, processing power and uh, graphics power as it seems a bit slower than the XP version. I thought it sh it, it should be faster but uh, this uh, at least this version I'm, I have uh, is a bit slower but for basic task, basic internet use so on it's perfectly capable. Okay I think that's all for now uh, about the Linux system. I'll be doing some other videos about uh, uh, XP and Vista and uh, you can check those at tkkmobile.com and also a uh, new video coming uh, uh, comparing this system to the uh, EPC 900 I have. So keep watching. Thank you. Bye.